Well, thank you for joining me once again. Thank I you for hope... having me. Thank you. Of course. Um, before having a conversation regarding your impeccable role, um, I'd love to know what it was really that drew you closer to the field of acting. Um, like, did you always believe this was something that you wanted to pursue as a profession? Or was this something that you decided on a later phase in your life? Um, I have this theory of like, about childhood and youth that I think all children naturally are very entertaining you know, and they love to like sing and dance and act and, you know, put on costumes and do voices. And so I think being creative is in everyone's nature. And, and when someone asks me if I always wanted to do it, um, I think everyone has always wanted to do it. But as they get older, they're sort of forced out of it when they go to school or when they have to, you know, get a job or, you know, um, start living their life. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I've always been so grateful that I can keep doing this and I, I haven't been forced to grow out of it and I can make it, you know, make it a job and do it full time uh, and just be creative. And, uh, you know, I, I know how lucky I am and I'm very, very grateful for it. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful answer. And I'm so happy that you get to pursue something that you really love. And um, I have to speak about your character. Um, the show hasn't been released yet, but your upcoming character, Vladim Gulov, in the upcoming season of Shadow and Bone. Um, first of all, huge congratulations. Your performance is truly remarkable. And um, so my first question in terms of this character would uh, will be that, were you introduced to the Grishaverse novels before you were offered this role? Or did you, you know, emerge yourself in the world after you were offered? Um, so I, um, I hadn't read the books or watched the show, um, going into it. And I remember when it came out, it was a pretty big thing. And like a lot of my friends and family really liked it. And my dad was a huge fan of the show, surprisingly. Um, he, he, you know, he's, fantasy isn't really his thing. So, you know, I, I, I would see him watching Shadow and Bone when it first came out. And he was like, sure, but you just have to watch this show. And I was like, yeah, maybe, I don't know. And then I just never really got around to watching it. But um, when I got the job, I was like to my dad, I was like, um, so uh, I'm going to be in the new season of Shadow and Bone. And I expected him to be really excited. And he was like, yeah, we well, better not mess it up now. And I, that kind of just like made me a bit nervous about, about going into the show. So I started watching it and... Uh, obviously, you know, I, I think everyone knows how good of a show it is and, and how well created it is and the stories and the characters. And, and I think it's I think it's a really, really good show. Very, very well made. And I'm, I'm just very lucky to, to be a part of it. Um, so, yeah, I kind of just watched it once I got the job and I just kind of like inhaled the entire series. It's very easy to watch and it's, you know, you kind of want to always watch more. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I watched it once I got the job and and I loved it. And uh, it is a really beautiful show. Um, I'm very curious to know how did the whole audition process go on with your character? Yeah, um, so I got an email saying that they were um, they wanted someone to audition for for this character of Ladim, um, and yeah, I just it was a pretty like standard audition. Um, I did uh, I did it with my agent. They helped. They were both of them, two of them. Uh, they helped me out and. Um, yeah, it was pretty standard. And then um, a couple of weeks later, they kind of said, OK, that, you know, it, it, they, they had chosen a few people and then the few people turned into two people. And then eventually they landed on me, which is really good news for me. <laughs> and then um, and then, yeah, a couple of months later, I was they flew me out to Budapest and we started filming. How oh, and um, was there any particular route that you took? in terms of research, uh, you know, in terms of embodying this character and immersing yourself into his mindset? Or was your performance based solely on the script? Um, that's a good question. I, I think uh, it's a pretty... Um, I think that question is, is, is quite like... You could use it for a lot of different auditions. And I think it kind of depends on the actor. I, I personally just sort of go into it... Um, kind of doing my own thing and I know it's 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 probably not the best choice when a show has already been out and and the world's already been created it's probably a better idea to mold yourself to fit 
that um, that world. But I went into the audition and, and I read what they'd given me and it was probably a good idea to watch the show beforehand, but I didn't. And I just went in and uh, gave this performance of like a, a, a kid who's who's in a world which is so fast moving and, and, and quite, uh, you know, um, a ruthless world and, and he's just not built for it. Um, so that was kind of like my main... Um, what I was thinking about mainly when I was doing the audition. And uh, your character is shown to be an impeccable alchemy um, and he's very strong and talented. But if you personally had the opportunity to, you know, choose your own powers, had you been placed in the Grisha verse, what sort of Grisha would you like to be? Hmm, it's a good question. Um, I, I, I think I would still choose the alchemy. I think it's a really interesting... Um, power in that, you know, you're not really very strong or very quick or very fast, but I think it's a, a more of like a mental power that you have. And, and you know, you're very good with science and you're, you know, good with, with chemicals and potions and everything. So I think, I think I would stick with it. I think it's a very underrated power to just be really, really intelligent. And I think, uh, you know, it could, it could really come in handy sometimes. <laughs> I believe when it comes to acting, for some people, it is the outfits they wear. Some people like to go take a walk around the set, you know. But there's sometimes certain kind of elements that, you know, makes them feel affiliated with their characters. Did you have any sort of specific acting ritual or element that helped you, you know, assure that you were fully Vladim at the moment and not sure it? Yeah, I think, I think... You know, like you mentioned, the costume, definitely, if you've seen the show, the costumes they have are just extraordinary. So when I when I would wear the costume, it would just immediately, like, I'd feel like a different person, you know? And it would it would be, it's such a nice costume, and, and I mean, it looks great, and I feel great wearing it, and I'd put it on, and I'd be like, wow, like, yeah, I'm, I'm just Ladeem. It was like a normal, like, you know, it was like pretty pretty standard to think that, but... Um, but yeah, the costume, I think, helped a lot. And, and just being there, you know, in the set uh, with everyone, with, with Ben and, and, you know, just being placed in that world, I think it'd be hard not to, to just, you know, immerse yourself in it. Yeah, and speaking of Ben, your character has several intriguing scenes with the Darkling, played by the wonderful Ben Barnes. So how was your offset relationship like with Mr. Barnes, as well as the other cast members of the show? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm mainly I, I spent a lot of time with Ben. Um, our characters have a lot to do with each other in the show. So we, uh, I, I, I mainly, my offset buddy was just him. But, um, you know, I mean, what a guy. He's, he's, he's so, so talented and such a sweet guy and, and very, very, you know, quite experienced. So there's a lot to learn from him when you're, when you're acting. And, and some of the, you know, methods that he used, I would see and I would, I would try and, replicate the, to the best of my ability but he's he's such a, a a really really nice man to be around and and to learn from um the rest of the cast I didn't really meet them that much we had like one like dinner together but again you know it's just such a sweet such a great bunch and they, they made me feel really comfortable joining this show that they'd already been a part of for so long um so yeah it was just you know everyone's everyone's amazing everyone's great and now that you are not only familiar with the books, but you are actually involved in it, if you'd like to construct some scenes within the show that you didn't have the opportunity to interact with as your character, is there any specific character from the Grishaverse novels or the show that you'd love Vladim to meet and share a conversation with? Um, probably Jesper. He's a really funny and interesting character. Um, and I think probably because I really enjoyed meeting Kit as well, but, um, yeah, Jesper would just be a great character for Vladim to meet because they, I think they're quite opposite in the way they interact and in the way they, they speak to people and the way they carry themselves. Uh, you know, Jesper's like a, like a presence basically. And, and Vladim is very much, um, he's quite quiet. He's quite a reactionary person. So I think a meeting between them would would be something that not many people would expect but i think it would be quite cool to watch how how they interact with each other 
That's a very interesting answer. You know, for me, I personally would love Vladim to meet David because I think they share a sort of specific, like, you know, similar skill set. You're an alchemy, and I feel like it'll be an interesting conversation. Yeah. Yeah. But for, for the sure. people who are about to be introduced um, to the show, how would you describe your character as well as what they can expect from the upcoming installment? Mm hmm. Um, so Vladim is uh, a really young member of, of the Grisha and, and really young member of the of sort of like the Darklings army. Um, and I think that kind of works uh, and is, you know, he uses that to his advantage that he's a lot younger than, than, you know, all the professionals around him. And so he has that edge. He has, he has, uh, you know, not as much experience, but that also means that he can bring something new to the table and he thinks outside of the box as people are going to see. And he's, he's, you know, he's very, very intelligent and, uh, he, you know, him and, and the darkling, you know, they enjoy a quite a good relationship, uh, in the show.